www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood.org. Astronauts on the Moon This is a delicate subject to talk about, because the story is much more complicated than has been presented. At the time that President Kennedy announced his intention to put man on the moon, he knew perfectly well that it would be quite impossible using conventional rocket technology that was available at that time. However, he had been informed that what is called the Secret Space Program, SSP, had, for a long time, been in contact with alien beings who had been using the moon as a base for a considerable length of time. So, to appear to be in advance of other nations in this race, to be the first to go to the moon, he also had to know that the alien technology existed. So, a plan was hatched to appear to send man to the moon, using conventional technology, but actually using alien technology, to achieve that goal. Equally, in case anything went terribly wrong, and to avoid having to admit to failure, a setup was created in a film studio, and, before any attempt to send an astronaut out into space, a complete film was created, so that, success, was assured. It was assumed that no one would question what was shown on TV, as it looked fairly convincing. Now, of course, people are starting to see through the film delusion, but, at the time, it was accepted as true. Now, to return to the actual visit to the moon. As was said, it was quite impossible for man, at the level of advancement that he was at, at the time, to get to the moon, so a plan was hatched with an alien race, to have the astronauts taken to the moon, using a UFO. So, indeed, the astronauts, or some of them, were taken to the moon, to conduct certain scientific experiments. They only stayed a few hours, because they were made unwelcome by reptilians, who followed their every move. So, humans were taken to the moon, collected a few rocks, as evidence of their journey, and then returned to Earth. Virtually all the film that was shown on TV, came from the film produced on Earth. Actually, because of the extremes of hot and cold on the moon, and other atmospheric anomalies, the cameras and photographic film used in them, would not have functioned, as NASA already knew. So, the answer to the question is, yes, some astronauts went to the moon, but in a UFO. They stayed a few hours, and returned in the same UFO. But, what people have seen of the visit, was created and filmed on Earth. As one can imagine, the enormity of the lie had a profound effect on some of the astronauts. They went through a period of mind control, that implanted false memories in their minds, which added to the confusion. However, it is perhaps time, that the truth concerning this moon event, is revealed to the public. How did the monitoring system, in the control room, work? The monitoring system was surprisingly simple. The technicians, who thought they were monitoring the progress of the astronauts and the spacecraft, were not sat in front of computer screens, as one would use today. They were in front of small TV sets. Virtually all of these TVs were connected to a large bank of video recorders, that were playing back film or tape, already pre-recorded, VHS. There were a sufficient number of these cassettes to last the length of the supposed journey, both to the moon, on the moon, and return. Obviously, as the cassettes were playing, putting information from the cassettes onto the television sets, the technicians watched and, hopefully, believed what they were observing. Most of these technicians had no means of interacting with the information being played. Their role was just to observe. Most of the cassette players were in pairs. As one cassette came to an end, the second cassette started, thus ensuring continuity of transmission. Thus it was, that very few people were actually aware of the hoax. Which alien group was involved in the deception? This alien group was, in fact, those that are referred to as Nordics, or Tall Whites. The very same group, that was, supposedly, involved with the development of the Apollo space rockets. The ones helping the human technicians resolve problems were there, quite simply, to ensure that the project looked feasible. In exchange for their help, they were given access to land on the surface of the earth, and any buildings they required. In fact, any help they wanted, in any domain. 
Thank you for watching this video lesson. Please visit www.thegreatwhitebrotherhood.org for more lessons and free downloadable books.